Veteran Saloon, sponsored by Devon James Injury Lawyers. It's a Wednesday, and you know what that means. Our weekly segment, Veterans Salute, our chance to honor those from this very community who have served. Now, before we get to tonight's story, if you have a veteran in your life you'd like to nominate for the segment, be sure to head to the Veterans Salute portion of our website, then click on our new button, Nominate a Veteran. So tonight, 27 News reporter Matthew Johnstone introduces us to Air Force veteran Belinda Schlesner. Growing up in Emporia, Belinda Schlesner never imagined she would see the world. Throughout her 20-year career with the military, she would do just that, making changes in the day-to-day -day of fellow soldiers throughout New York, Thailand, and Panama. Heading into the 70s, Belinda was looking to put her recreation and sociology degrees to good use. At that time, there weren't a lot of, of really good jobs out there available for women, even though I had graduated from college just not a lot of opportunity for things that you could uh, expand upon. She found the opportunity she was looking for with the U.S. Air Force, serving in the morale, welfare, and recreation position. And it was all of the fun things to do when you're assigned to the military. Uh, it's the, the gymnasium and the aero club and the um, child care center and youth activities and the recreation center and the officers and NCO clubs. Making a difference with the mental and physical well-being of soldiers and their families while overseas meant a lot to Belinda. It's a lot of responsibility. It's important to the mission. It's important to the sanity. It's important to family support. It's a wonderful job. That job landed her in the then Panama Canal Zone at a pivotal moment in history. When the United States began the process of turning over the zone completely to the Panamanians. We went to the base headquarters and watched the, the lowering of the U.S. flag for the last time. And that was very memorable. They had a band there and they had color guards. That was special. Even decades after her service with the military has ended, her time overseas and the lessons she learned through those experiences still stick strongly with Belinda. I had more opportunity for leadership, for wor learning how to, to be a team player, to work things out, to work with people, to motivate people, to, to do an even better job. Today, Belinda's keeping busy, traveling when possible, and maintaining a family farm. Working for you, Matthew Johnstone, 27 News. I think she's adorable in that uniform. Yes, she Oh, that cute. is so nice. Well, we keep highlighting veterans in our community every week, just like Belinda. And if you'd like to nominate someone for this segment, head to our Veteran Salute portion of the website at KSNT.com. And then, of course, click on that Nominate a Veteran button. Yes, please do. Now, as you probably know, every time we do this, the honored veteran receives a gift. So take a look. The Devon James Injury Lawyer is here with our Veteran of the Week, and that's Major Belinda Schlesner, who has dedicated over 20 years of her life to the United States Air Force. On behalf of all of Kansas, thank you so much for your service. Thank you very much. Thank you to both of you for your generosity and for your interest in this program and the opportunity to, to share my experiences. Thank you very much. Veteran Salute, sponsored by Devon James Injury Lawyers.